Today we're going to talk about how to make strawberries last longer in your refrigerator. Do you ever notice when you get strawberries, they go bad so fast. They tend to grow mold on them and then all of a sudden all of them are moldy and you have to throw them all out. Well, that's because strawberries and all berries actually carry mold spores, even the ones you get from your grocery store. So you could get some from the grocery store and pretty soon they go really bad. You could also get them from the farmer's market, like this enormous bucket of organic strawberries from the farmer's market. But even those are going to start developing mold. So some of these have already develop some moldy spots. So we want to prevent that because once mold starts growing on your strawberries, it's going to spread quickly to all the other strawberries and then all of your strawberries are lost. So what we're gonna do is very, very simple. So I have a really big bowl of water and it has about eight to 10 cups of water in it already. And then we're adding one cup of white vinegar. This is just plain white vinegar. Doesn't matter what kind of vinegar it is, just plain white vinegar. Doesn't matter if it's organic, what brand it is, just plain white vinegar. And we're adding that to the water. So we've created about an eight to 10 parts water to one part vinegar solution. And then we're just going to add all these strawberries right into the water. And don't worry, your strawberries will not end up tasting like vinegar because we're just gonna give them a quick vinegar and water bath and then rinse them off and let them get dried completely. All right, so once that gets pretty full, okay, that's pretty full. We'll just slosh them around a little bit. You want to make sure that water is getting up under those leaves too. We're going to actually remove the leaves because we're going to be storing these strawberries. Some of them will end up frozen, some of them will end up in the refrigerator, but even the ones in the refrigerator, once they've been rinsed in the vinegar and water bath and then dried on a kitchen towel until they're nice and dry, once you put them back in the refrigerator, they're going to last much, much longer than they would have without giving them the vinegar and water bath. They might last a few days where the vinegar and water bath will make them last at least at least a week, maybe two. I'll put some of these in the freezer on a baking sheet and waxed paper. But for now, they're all just going right here on this baking sheet that is lined with a kitchen towel and some paper towels. I'm laying them out on the paper towel in one layer so they're not overlapping at all, so they can get air around them and get nice and dry before going in the refrigerator or in the freezer. Now we have a big tray of strawberries that are ready to dry for a few hours. So they'll sit on the countertop just letting air circulate around them and dry. Once they're nice and dry, then pick which ones you want to freeze. Sometimes the ones that have some bad spots, you can just take a paring knife and cut off some of those bad spots or cut off the stem and put it in the freezer that way so it's ready to go right into a smoothie. Or if you want to, you could just leave the stems on and put them in the refrigerator. But if you cut the stem off and then try to save them in the refrigerator, they're going to go bad faster because you've cut them open. So if you're cutting the stem off, freeze them in a single layer just like this on a baking sheet that has wax paper on it and put that in the freezer, you know, six to eight, six to eight hours overnight, you know, and then take them out and put them in a big Ziploc bag and they're ready to go into smoothies or anything else you want to use them in. Um, or if you're keeping them in the refrigerator, keep the little stem on. 
and that's it. It's the best way to keep your strawberries from going bad, and they're going to last much, much longer this way. So give it a try. Yeah, thank you for watching. Click at the top for videos that we have found to be very important. Click at the bottom right to see one of our featured videos. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking our icon at the center of the screen. And turn on notifications so that you can get our videos when the fruits and vegetables featured in that video are in season and at their best. See you next time.